Hey you all, it's your girl Minister Ari X, Minister Ari saying happy Valentine's Day for those of you who celebrate it. Amen. You know, a lot of us don't celebrate because we don't get no kiss or whatever the case may be. But happy Valentine's to y'all anyway. Okay. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day. I ain't no hater. One thing about me, I ain't no hater. So happy Valentine's Day to y'all. Amen. All right. So, and I know people who don't celebrate Valentine's Day and it's all where Valentine's Day came from. Okay. All right. Still, happy Valentine's Day because some people do celebrate it. They don't care for all the stuff that's behind it. So I just want to say happy Valentine's Day to those people who do support it. Amen. And speaking of the people who say the naysayers and people who come against, you know, the word of God for what it is. Amen. I asked God the other day, I said, God, why do people, you know, they, they, they come so hard at your word. I done said my mom was pastor. You got people saying my mom is a so-called pastor. She been indoctrinated wrong child. Besides my mom being a pastor, I was raised, I was raised, me personally, in a Christian private school and, you know, a Christian church. So I know the word of God and I shouldn't have to be arguing about that. And I speak from a bitter place, a nasty place, a place of covetousness, a place of they, them, that I'm speaking the word of God for what it is. So I ask God, you know, why when we come to people with your word, you know, or why when I come to people with your word, they always got these harsh comebacks or they always come harder than what, you know, I, I've done. Like, for instance, Brian Karn and KCC Culture. I'm wondering, like, why in the world, you know, is he threatening him subliminally to kidnap me? Or whatever the case may be, when I already got problems at home and he was aware of that because I had told him that, you know, subliminally and in, in, in messages that I sent him personally, you know, why is he coming so hard for me the way that he's coming for me? Why are people, you know, who call themselves children of God are not even that? Why do people come for God when all you do is utter his words? When all you do is speak peacefully, speak knowledgeably in the word of the Lord. So he told me, you know, to go back to David and Goliath. He, he was telling me, I thought that he was trying to show me how David killed Goliath with a slingshot. Amen. But that wasn't David's battle. That was the Lord's battle. And it was already won. David was just the vessel. David was the weapon. David was the weapon used by the Lord here. Because what David used to kill Goliath was a close. It was a slingshot and a rock. Amen. Okay. So, the Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for the word we're about to receive. Lord God, we ask that you open our ears and soften our hearts to your word, Jesus. And help us to receive it for what it is, Lord God. And not apply it to anyone else but ourselves. Because a lot of us like to take messages and apply it to other people, this person. But Lord, help us to apply your message to us in areas of our life where we need it, Lord God. Even me. Thank you. So, the word today, in the mighty mention name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. The word today is, you are the weapon. And I was led to um, 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 45 to 47. It says, Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give, you, give, the, give your carcasses of the camp of the Philistines, to the birds of the air and the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that the Lord is God, that the Lord, that there is a God in Israel. Amen. Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear, for the battle of the Lord, for the battle is the Lord's, and He will give you into our hands. You know, sometimes I feel pressure. I'm like, you know. You got Prophet Karin saying these nasty words to mean about me. Still talking about covetousness and preaching on stuff that I said. That I know that the Lord told me to say. Still preaching behind it. Then you got people just pretty much disrespecting God in the comments. I'm a prophetess of God. I don't, know, I don't care what you think or what you heard. I'm a prophetess of the Lord. And I'm saying exactly what he want me to say. Sorry that you didn't see me this like before. I apologize that I wasn't walking in my calling. I apologize for having premarital sex which which, which which strained my calling. I apologize for not walking and listening and obeying to the voice of the Lord. Obeying the voice of the Lord. Amen. But this is what God is telling me to say. You are the weapon. Amen. So whether I feel like it or not, no matter how weak I feel, I'm being viewed by God's opposition as a weapon. Because at the end of the day, these demons don't care, care to bother us. They care to bother God. They only want to bother us because they know it annoys God. Amen? Like, I, I don't know what else to say about it. I really, I really don't know what else to say about it. That's God's word. So, they did it to David. They did it to Jesus. They'll do it to us. Amen. They, that, that's just their rebuttal because the word of God is sharper than the true edged sword. 
I mean, it's sharper than the actual, a two-edged sword, a gun or whatever. It's sharper, swifter, more knowledgeable, more credible. So they have to, you know, use antics to try to get to us, use lies, manipulation, and just a whole bunch of stuff that is not of God nor pleasing in his sight. But I want you to know that God tends to probably look at right below and he sees it all. He's the avenger of our enemies. Amen. And I say this boldly because I mean it. He's the, and, and sometimes it's hard for me to see it myself because I, I just feel like, Lord, they bother me in any type of manner they feel like will bother me. But this is the message he told to me. And this is the message he told me to speak to you today. You are the weapon. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but you were made in spirit and flesh. Because God breath, breathed the breath of life into you. Amen. You are the weapon. So as long as you are the weapon, you will face like something that you, somebody might say to somebody. You might not bother them as much as you stand it because you have the spirit of God with you. And God is mighty. God is powerful. You may not be powerful, but, but the word of God is powerful. It's sharper than any two S4, like I said before. Amen. You know, um, that's all I really want to say today. I don't want to go off topic. You know, um, as, as Christians, we may have enemies, secret enemies, because the, the word of the Lord says that in these days, people will be will be cowardice. Like, they will act in cowardly ways. They will do things that's not pleasing in the sight. So, you might have secret enemies. You might have people talking about on our back that we may not know anything about. You might have stuff happening that's not in the will of God, but those things have to happen because God is all-powerful. Amen? God is all powerful. So, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this message, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We thank you, Lord God, that the battle is not ours, Lord God, that the battle is yours. We ask you, Lord God, that you humble our spirits, Lord God, that you help us, Lord God, to be more like you, Lord God, to demonstrate, Lord God, your character in and through the world, Lord God. We ask you, Lord God, for help in our everyday lives, Lord God. We ask you, Lord God, to just lead us, Lord God, and guide us. And as you might mention his name, we do pray. Amen. Man, it's your girl, R-E-X, R-E-U, saying, Minister R-E-X, Minister R-E-U, saying, remember, do what you got to do for you. I love y'all, and not just because it's Valentine's Day, I love y'all every day.